Hey guys, welcome back. So we're starting out with this glute exercise, um, this glute workout. We're gonna start out with lifting the right leg so your hips are going to stay even and the knees are going to be even as well. And we're just kicking out. This is a um, pretty much a Tabata workout where we're doing 20 seconds on with the 10 second rest. Since we're worthy working both legs here, we're going to do four sets on the right and four sets on the left. So we're going into our second set right here. And we're lifting up and pressing through the heel of the left leg. And your hips are even, so one side is not dropping. They're both, they're both even, they're both hiked up. You're squeezing your glutes and squeezing in your abs. These are difficult. If you really add the lower part of the abs and the core, you're going to really feel some good tension going on, not to mention the glute area and the hamstrings. I think this is the last one. And you're just kicking it out. Knees stay together, even. And the hips, you got to make sure those hips don't drop on one side. Woo! Got one more round. And if you are like really super advanced, you can take a weight and place it on your heel, on your, um, on your hips. So your hips are even. One's not dropping. Hopefully it's not. And then we're going to switch after this. We go to the other side. Bridges are great if you're just starting out, but you can just also keep both feet on the floor and just raise your hips up and down for like 10 or 12 reps if you're just starting out. Okay, now we're working the left leg. Hips are even. Now, if one hip drops, like for example, I'm doing the left leg now, and if my right hip was to drop, I'm sorry, if my left hip was to drop, it would be because of my right medius, my gluteus medius is weak. So if that happens, that's why I'm always having my hands on my thighs because my right gluteus medius has, has a tendency to, to be weak, which can, is going to affect the other side. So you want to make sure you squeeze the gluteus medius and keep your hips even. Gluteus meat is right there. Woo! Feel that. All right, ready? Hips stay up, hips stay even. You're squeezing in your abs. Your glutes are tight. Your medius is tight. You exhale when you come up. Got a little music going on too. But I wanted this to be a tutorial because it's a really good, we have six exercises, actually seven, that we're gonna do. See, my left hip has a tendency to drop, so I'm squeezing my right medius where that my right hand is. I'm squeezing that part to hopefully strengthen it a little more and yeah. The next one is a prone hip extension. We're gonna go fast on these. So it really hits a gluteus maximus like really, really good. And what I was saying before, um, where'd you go, Deb? There you are. <laughs> okay, what I was saying before is you don't want your hips to rock back and forth. You want them totally, totally... Um, immobilized and in one line you don't want it to drop on the other side because as mentioned before if the right leg drops if the right hip drops that means your left medius where my hand is is going to be affected so you have to use that part it's just something you really have to focus on um, and definitely if your lower back hurts you can 
Also use both feet on the floor. I think I mentioned that before too. So both feet on the floor. The next one is a prone hip extension. We're going to do four on the right, four on the left. And it's going to be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for four rounds. And then we switch legs. All right. And we're going to go fast here. You know, when I did these before, it's nice and slow. But we're going fast for the burn as long as you're not whipping the body back and forth. Just don't whip the body back and forth. Stay totally in control. It's a great gluteus maximus burn. That's the meat part of the glutes. Oh, yeah. I feel that like crazy. Get a little stretch at the end. Now, here we go for the second round. You can also come down on your elbows or up on your uh, hands. There I go. <laughs> I feel better in control when I'm down on my elbows. And boy, does this burn. Oh my goodness. Well, big burn. Twenty seconds on, ten seconds off. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'm gonna drop a link to um, my free meal plan that I'm offering. I'm gonna drop that in the description. And also if you're interested in online training, you can get that as well. I think I have one more round here. Keep those glutes tight and abs tucked in tight. Your foot is flexed, bring it all the way up, and woo! Good stuff right here. You can do these, I mean, if you're real serious about developing the glutes in, to a significant amount, um, go ahead and do these like three days a week, even maybe four. Doesn't give you much time to focus on anything else, but that if that is your goal, um, if you're toning, go ahead and skip, stick to 15 to 20, even up to 30 repetitions on each leg and do like three sets. Or you can do what I'm doing here as a Tabata round, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And three days a week would be sufficient. Boy, what a burn. I love these. Burn, baby, burn. Here we go, other side. And I think this is round three. I'm at the point where I can't even lift anymore. <laughs> okay, you guys, you better try this. Because this will leave your booty burning. Be on fire. I like the next exercise coming up. Last one right here. Make a burn. Oh boy. Starting to shake. Shake, rattle, and roll. I'm using a 15 pound dumbbell behind my knee, but um, make your own selection. You don't even need a dumbbell, um, actually. You don't even need weight at all. I thought that was it, but I guess we got another round. Wow. <laughs> I'm struggling. You can see I'm struggling. You can use a 20-pounder and do like 10 reps. There's so many different ways you can do this workout. You can do them without weights. Um, okay, the next one is um, a dumbbell uh we're going to use bent legs on these and we're going to be, um, our feet are going to be close together. And when you bend over, oh, let's talk about this. Yeah. <clears throat> this is really important. When you have that dumbbell behind your leg, say for example, it's behind your, your left leg. You want to make note that this leg does not go, your hip doesn't drop and you don't sway to the right. You want to keep your, your hip lined up right over your knee to save that hip. Did that make sense? I hope that made sense. 
I got dark colored colored tights and it kind of blends in with the black mat but when the left leg is up the right leg is totally stabilized right your your knee is right underneath your hip okay now these are going to be bent legged deadlifts so our feet are going to be together bent knees back is straight come up and squeeze back is straight when you go down try not to um, round the back as you as you fold forward um, squeeze when you come up this is where you want to squeeze here squeeze the glutes here and exhale all right we have three more <laughs> Um, I'm using 25s, I think, here. I think I'm using 25-pound dumbbells. Um, nope, they're 15s. I'm using 15-pound dumbbells. When I did this workout the other day, <coughs> actually it was last week, um... I used 25 pound dumbbells, but I only did 10 reps for two or three rounds. So it just depends. You don't even need to do weights. Just get the forming technique down first, you know, with bending from the hips, back is straight, coming up and squeezing. We have one more round and then we're gonna finish with um, three rounds of squats. We're going to use a goblet squat coming up. Spin. Ladies, I ain't kidding. This is the best glute workout you can do. You hit all areas. There's only three areas. <laughs> gluteus medius, gluteus maximus, and gluteus minimus. We do all of them right here. Okay, now this is a squat. We're going to go for three rounds, and then we're going to finish the fourth round with the wide jump in. I'll talk about that in a minute. So your elbows are going to come down between your thighs or between your knees. Struggling. This is a workout. <laughs> okay, ready? Here's round two. Hang in there, y'all. You're tough. Hang in there. Okay. Two more rounds. Stay strong, you guys. If you're doing this workout with me, you gotta get mental. Hang in there. Oof. Okay, now we're going to finish with jump ins. Two, three, jump back, jump in. One, pulse for three, jump back. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one. Whoa, yeah, buddy. Okay, now this next one's a challenge. We're gonna do bicycles. You got that mental stuff going on, you guys? You ready? Bicycles, four up, four down on the bicycles. Catch a deep breath, get your water, relax just a little bit. We don't have much of a rest. You guys ready? You got that mental stuff? You ready? Psych, psych yourself. These bicycles are hard, but nothing ever came from easy work. Come on, you guys. You got this. You got this. You ready? You ready? 
and let's kill it. Whew, booty pump. Just two more exercises, guys. Come on. And up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, you ran out of gas fast on this one. <laughs> Ooh, take a deep breath while you're down there. Here we go, round two. You're almost done. Oops, almost didn't make it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Pick your pace here. I'm going a little fast. Um, but pick your pace however you want to, um, however you can make it work. And you know what? You can modify it actually by holding onto the back of your knees or the, your shins, the front of your knees, and just rolling up and then coming down and then rolling up. You don't really need to do all this. <laughs> this is good though. I love it. I just couldn't wait to share it with you guys. Oh boy, Ooh, feel that burn, feel that burn, feel the burn, almost done, wow, yeah, good stuff, really, really good stuff, we have one more round, we got it, stay tough, one, two, three, four, Almost done. We got one more exercise after this. Just four rounds. Come on. It's almost done. Almost done. Hang in there. Woo! Okay, the next one is four rounds of prone leg raises. Okay, I got to slow down a little bit. I'm losing my form. So you're just lifting, keeping your abs tucked in tight, your core tight, your shoulders tight. See how the shoulders are lined up right over the elbows? And now I'm going to stretch it out. Deep breath, stretch it out, deep breath, and round two. the glutes and stretch we got this we got one more round after this squeeze the glutes abs tight Oh, now watch this last one. This last round we have, I'm going to angle the foot out. So watch the foot. The outer part of the foot is going to be facing up to so get the gluteus medius. Just like that. Yep. Feel the burn. We're going to end with the stretch. I'm going to take you through a nice, easy stretch to do after this exercise. So grab your water. Don't go away. I want you to grab your water. Time to bring the heart rate down just a little bit. Best time to stretch is when the muscles are nice and warmed up and mine are definitely on fire. I'm gonna kick off the shoes. Kick off the socks. I'm gonna relax. And this will get me ready for my post-workout meal, which I will have within one hour after my workout. One hour. You're going to feel the stretch on the left leg and the outer part of the leg on the right leg.
And find your own stretch and hold it there. There's nothing, <clears throat> nothing is supposed to be difficult about these stretches. They're supposed to feel uh, really good and comforting and, and relaxing. You will feel a stretch uh, most definitely, but I mean, you don't want to force any of the moves. No, no forcing of the moves here. It's just, and here's a straddle stretch, one of my favorites. Find your own stretch and hold it there. We're gonna hold it for about 10 seconds. Yep, find your own stretch and hold it there. Find your own stretch and hold it there. There's no need to push through it or get the grimacing on the face and um, really force any moves here. They're not hard or difficult. They're just nice and nice and relaxing. This takes practice because we all want to um, kind of go into extreme stretching and, you know, get the grimacing in the face and forcing the moves <laughs> like this. <laughs> you actually want to just take it really easy. We're all anxious to do that Chinese split and extreme splits and, um, I've been stretching for a long time. I, I, every day I stretch. Every day. Maybe twice on Sundays. <laughs> so on these, your legs are close together. You're getting the, the calves, the hamstrings, and the glutes. Try not to round the back. So when you bend forward, you're going to grab the balls of the feet and pull them toward you. And the back is nice and flat. Nice and flat. Nice and straight. Deep breathing. Now we're going into the pigeon pose. Love this pose. Oh my goodness. So the left leg is getting the hip flexor and the right leg is getting the outer thigh. Gluteus medius. Really good stuff. Look up to the ceiling. Take your chin up. And if you really want to, you can grab your foot in the back and pull it pull it in uh, more of the hip flexor stretch totally up to you you got to make it work to, to to where it fits you and your flexibility and your range of motion Stretch, stretch, stretch. I'm going to reach back and grab that foot. Hold it here, stretch it out. Just make sure that hip is aiming toward the ground. Right toward the, toward the floor here. Stretch it out, stretch it out. Ooh, I'm ready to eat. I'm going to leave a link below for my free meal plan. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get first notice on new stuff I upload. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.